uh, today I will cover class table inheritance uh, pattern this class table inheritance pattern belongs to object relational structural patterns and uh, this object relational structural patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture first you will see the explanation of uh, class table in inheritance pattern uh, so this is the explanation uh, represents an inheritance hierarchy of classes with one table for each class we okay, will see one example so that uh, you will understand uh, this sentence so you can see uh, in the left side uh, player is a super class and it has a name attribute and uh, under that uh, two classes are there uh, one is footballer another one is cricketer so this footballer and cricketer are subclasses of uh, player and uh, footballer ca has uh, club attribute and uh, cricketer has uh, batting average attribute and under cricketer uh, bowler is there so this is subclass of uh, cricketer uh, it has uh, bowling average okay so this footballer and cricketer will inherit this name property from the player um, so this footballer will have name plus club value and this cricketer will have name plus batting average and this bowler will inherit uh, cricketer property and so this bo bowler will have name batting average and bowling average so this is like a one inheritance hierarchy okay so how we can represent this in database how we can define table uh, to store this uh, bowler information cricketer information and footballer information in the database so what we have to do is as per the class table inheritance pattern we have to define we have to define uh, for each class one table okay so if you see this one uh, player has a players table and footballer has a footballer table and cricketer has cricketer table bowler has bowler table so represents an inheritance hierarchy of classes with one table for each class so we are defining for each class one table okay um so suppose uh, if you want to store uh, footballer information uh, then we have to store information in player and footballer table so you have to store in this table plus footballer table suppose if you want to get a footballer information from a database table you have to consult with two tables one is footballer table and another one is player table like that suppose if you want to store uh, bowler information then you have to store in player table cricketer table and the bowler table suppose if you want to get uh, this bowler information from the database table then we have to consult three tables one is bowler table another one is uh, cricketer's table and another one is uh, player's table player cricketer bowler and like that we have to consult these three tables we have to use some joints to get the data okay and uh, you will see next point relational database don't support inheritance so when mapping from objects to databases we have to consider how to represent our nice inheritance structure in relational tables so using class table inheritance uh, we can represent like this for each class one table and the third point class table inheritance is that has one table per class in the domain model so that we already discussed the fields in the domain class map directly to fields in the corresponding table so if you see this one name is one field so that is directly mapped to name in uh, table players table okay like that footballer uh, in footballer class club is one field and uh, you can see in the footballer table club field is there that is what it is explained here and uh, fourth point is one issue is to link the how to link the corresponding rows of a database table possible solution is to use the common primary key value so how we can uh, link this table so we can use some common primary key uh, so that we can get information from the related uh, tables so this is about uh, class table inheritance pattern thanks for watching bye